we have St. Joseph, who is being tempted by a shepherd slash devil. Like when I said Joseph being tempted by a devil, I saw a few people sneering in the audience. Is that possible? Does everybody know that story? Okay, so in the, in the tradition, uh, there, is a, there is a story which talks about, it comes from the Proto-Evangelium of James, which is the, the book out of which most of our traditions for, for the Mother of God and for the Nativity come from outside of the Bible. And in that book, you have this scene where Joseph is not permitted to be there when, uh, when, when the Mother of God gives birth. In, imagine, we're so used to our modern way of thinking with the dad, you know, in the hospital with the, with the doctor, but that is not the traditional way that a woman would have given birth. A woman would give birth uh, with midwives. And so Joseph was told to, to leave the, 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 the place where, where Christ is born. And so then he's mulling over in his mind and he's thinking, like, is this really possible? Is this for real? It's like he knows he's not the father. And so he's wondering, like, is this, is this the real deal? Is, is, is this really the birth from a virgin? And it's the, this devil figure who is tempting him and who's saying, like, who's asking him questions and, one, and getting him to wonder whether or not this is actually possible. And then the midwives are the ones who are here washing the Christ child. When we talk of the mother of God, we use certain terms which are very, very strong to help us understand this mystery. Her womb contained that who, him who the world cannot contain or the, 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 the cosmos cannot contain. And so she contained in her womb that which could not be contained. And it is, and it is a pointing, right? It is a pointing to the mystery right there even from the beginning of Scripture. It is linking us to that beginning of Scripture of this primordial primordial earth and then you see the, 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 the word come down and the word of God which manifests the world out of this primordial waters. Right? This image is, is helping us see what the mystery is about. And you see that ray of light coming down, that star that comes down. It's not, a, it's not a arbitrary that they showed it. Like this ray of light which comes down and points. And points to this hidden kernel. This hidden reason why the world exists. This hidden reason why things exist. In a certain ways, we've been, we've been ruined by the modern world. We've been told that as Christians, we believe these things. And these things are arbitrary. That here it is, you know, I, there are these things that I believe and they're somewhat arbitrary and here it is that I believe them. But that is not the case. What we believe, our faith is real. It is the things that, we, that it talks about, the things that it manifests to us. It manifests to us really the mysteries of how the world exists. Because the question that St. That, that Joseph is asking himself that's the question that the atheist asks himself too about the entire cosmos. How is it possible? Why is there something rather than nothing? And you, you can hear, you can hear the physicians, the, 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 the physicists ask that today. It's like, the, they say, the Big Bang. And when we see St. Joseph there doubting and asking himself, is this, is this possible? Is this possible that a, someone can be born of a virgin? What is he asking? He's asking a huge question. He's, act, he's asking the question. He's asking how is it possible for, there, for something to come out of nothing? How is it possible for this union between the spiritual and the physical to happen? How is it possible that, we, that the world exists? Ultimately, that is what he's asking. 